I had the pleasure of meeting and working with Matt Rasmussen in 2007 as part of the Loss Mentor Series in Minneapolis. But it's an even greater pleasure this evening to introduce Matt as the winner of the 2012 Walt Whitman Award. Jane Hirschfield was the judge, and about Matt's work she writes. Black Aperture addresses with meticulous balance a single event from multiple directions. Autobiographical, speculative, imaginal, at times bitterly comic, often lyrically surreal, Matt Rasmussen's transformative poems look outward. They are built on the observable leaf, field, hand, bird, and act. But this book's central task is the alchemizing of experience by language. The subject here is the suicide of a brother. What cannot be altered remains. Yet by changing saying, seeing is also made wider, more openly porous. The liberations of tongue, word, and conception held in these poems restore the possibility, sense, that's as essential to us as oxygen when a person stands in the chambers of unacceptable loss. Please welcome Matt Rasmussen. Thank you, Arthur. Um, I'm kind of nervous, so I'm just going to read this as I wrote it. Uh, and then I'll read three poems from the book. Um, I'm obviously honored to receive the Walt Whitman Award, and I'd like to take a minute to thank some very important people who made the book happen. I'd like to begin by thanking my parents, who are not here tonight. Um, they're back in Minnesota with our two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Lydia, and my book is dedicated to them. I'd also like to thank the Academy, obviously, for sponsoring this award, and Jane Hirschfield, who not only chose my manuscript, but also worked diligently with me to make it the best book it could be. Um, I'd like to thank my wife, Jana, who's here tonight, for her support, my daughter, who I mentioned before. And this book took a long time to become what it is, and my close friends and fellow editors at Birds LLC, which is a small poetry press we began, Dan Bowl, Justin Marks, Sam Starkweather and Chris Tinelli helped me tremendously. The three poems I'll read tonight are from the book, as I mentioned, two sad ones, one funny one. Sort of a sandwich, sad sandwich, uh, with funny in the middle. The first one's called Outgoing. Our answering machine still played your message, and on the day you died, Dad asked me to replace it. I was chosen to save us the shame of dead you answering calls. Hello, I've just shot myself. To leave a message for me, call hell. The clear cassette lay inside the white machine like a tiny patient being monitored, or a miniature glass briefcase protecting the scroll of lost voices. Everything barely mattered and then no longer did. I pressed record and laid my voice over yours, muting it forever and even now. I'm sorry we are not here, I began. <clears throat> okay, funny now. Lando Lakes, you guys know that logo, right? I'm from Minnesota, so this is my Minnesota poem. Lando Lakes. Oh, it takes place inside a refrigerator as well. Lando Lakes. A tinfoil lake rattles the sun as a canoe crosses it, approaching my shore. The Native American girl walks toward me, kneels, offers a golden box of butter, and then she's on the box I'm holding. Apparently, I've accepted. Come, she says, we will burn beauty into something even more mesmeric. It is evening inside the refrigerator. I lie down, shivering near the lake. The giant red ring hovers behind her, generating warmth. You must fall asleep in your dream to wake up in your life, she says. I can hear the vegetables dying in the crisper. And through the door, the television weeping openly, unashamed. 
My final poem is titled Reverse Suicide. The guy dad sold your car to comes back to get his money, leaves the car. With filthy rags, we rub it down until it doesn't shine and wipe your blood into the seams of the seat. Each snowflake stirs before lifting into the sky as I learn you won't be dead. The unsuffering ends when the mess of your head pulls together around a bullet in your mouth. You spit it into dad's gun before arriving in the driveway while the evening brightens and we pour bag after bag of leaves on the lawn, waiting for them to leap onto the bare branches. Thank you.